Hey everybody, Dino with BodyFit. I've got a, another tip or trick video for you this evening. Um, kind of wanting my data on it. I really wanted to get this out, um, so I'm going to give it a shot here. Uh, and this is this is stemming from um, kind of going through some of my own program design and, and some changes that I've, I've kind of recently gone through and, and going to be going through. Uh, and I wanted to share them with you and, and educate you and, uh, and kind of give you a, a glimpse as to how I do things from a program design standpoint uh, for myself personally. So. <clears throat> Uh, what I'll start with is, is a little bit of a shock for some people, and it's the fact that I have not picked up a weight in over 30 days. Okay, That's not to say I have an exercise, but I have not lifted in over 30 days. And for those of you that know me, this can be a shock because I've been dedicated to lifting for the better part of 10 years. I've, I've competed in bodybuilding. Um, it, it's been a passion and a love of mine for a long time. Um, so let's kind of dissect why in the world I would do that. Uh, so recently, I, 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 I wanted a little bit of a change. Um, don't get me wrong, I love bodybuilding, I love lifting, and I always will, um, but I just felt it was time for a little bit of a change. I wanted to kind of mix things up, um, challenge myself, if you will, and I, I've kind of always dabbled on and off in martial arts my whole life, um, but I, I recently made the, the conscious decision that I was going to kind of go full speed ahead, um, and, and I've been blessed enough to, uh, to kind of somehow stumble upon uh, what's turned out to be, in my opinion, the best possible place I could be in, in the state of Michigan um, to kind of pursue this. Uh, and that's over at Kaizen with uh, with Ryan and his team. I mean, Ryan is is a tremendously talented guy. The whole team. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about him. So if you, if you haven't checked him out, you need to. Um, but nevertheless, I, I've wound up there, and I felt this is a really good opportunity. You know, being around some of the best people um, to to pursue this and to to really see what my potential is. I mean, again, it's my it's the athlete in me. Um, I want to see what I'm made of. I want to see how how uh, how high I can go. How how uh, how far I can push. Uh, in that sport. So in making that conscious decision, um, I had to look at, at, at my current body type. Um, and this is kind of tying in the tip or trick now, so stay with me. Uh, I had to look at my current body type and say, well, what changes do I need to make to pursue this? And a lot of you guys that watch these videos, you always hear me talk about weight loss and reducing body fat. And, and this does apply to that, but I felt I would give a little bit of a spin and, and talk about making other changes rather than just reducing body fat. So uh, case in point again is me. I, I looked at the decision I made and I said, well, you know what, what do I need to change on me physically if I'm really going to pursue this? Um, and, and I knew that I was too bulky. Uh, the last time I'd been on a mat prior to recently was, I don't know, I was 50 pounds lighter. I was probably 170 and now, or up until recently I was 220. Um, so I knew I was just too bulky. I knew I was extremely inflexible. Um, and, and I knew I just, I, I needed to make some changes physically if I was really going to pursue this. Um, and I knew that lifting continuing to lift like I was, was not going to get me where I wanted to go. Um, so now the tip or trick is you have to really, when you're doing your program design, look at it from the standpoint of everything that you're putting in your program should be um, with the conscious decision that it's there to make a specific change in your body. Okay, and that's literal. Everything you're doing in the gym um, is to promote a change in your body. And where people get confused, where, they, where the errors come is, uh, you know, they think that, well, you know, I, I do Zumba seven days a week and I do Zumba because I enjoy it. Well, that's fine and that's great. It's getting you off the couch. But at the end of the day, the question needs to be, what is Zumba promoting? Um, if you're a runner, what is running promoting? If you're a lifter, what is lifting, lifting promoting? And in my case, the lifting was no longer promoting what I was looking for. So I needed to make that change. Now, um, for me, I was lucky enough to be big enough and strong enough to where I, I decided I could I could completely step away from lifting and not be too concerned for now with the the strength that I would lose. Like I said, I wanted to lose a little bit of size. I wanted to gain flexibility. And, and to be honest, I mean, BJJ, um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, it, it's, it's done a tremendous amount for my, my flexibility. It's done a tremendous amount for my cardio. And it's done a tremendous amount to lean me out. So it's already taken... It's already taken uh, the, the, the changes or the stimulant that I was looking for, and it's already taken care of that. Um, so then, then you know, the, the, the thing that I have to monitor and I have to watch is my strength, okay? Because unfortunately, the, the, the couple things Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu will not do for me is it won't keep the physique that I'm looking for. It won't keep the strength that I'm looking for. You know, if I stepped away and said, well, I'm only going to do what I love, and I'm going to do Jiu-Jitsu seven days a week. Trust me, I would if I could. I mean, I love it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I've got to recognize the fact that from a program design standpoint, um, it's not. I, I will eventually lose the strength that I now have. I will eventually lose the the, the build and the, the physique I now have. Not to say that I probably couldn't keep an athletic appearance with BJJ, 
because um, I could, but it's not the appearance I'm going for. I mean, I, I've dedicated myself to looking like I do, and, and I don't want to lose that. And, and, and I, know, I know my wife doesn't either. Um, you know, she's made that very clear. Uh, so I've got to find that balance now, and that's where the program design comes in. So, you know, when you're looking at your program, you know, uh, another case in point or example would be if, if I had a guy sit down and say, you know what, I, I want to put on 20 pounds of muscle. Sure, no problem. I can do that for you. But then if in the next breath he's telling me that he wants to run five miles five days a week, I'm going to pleasantly shake his hand with a smile and say, you know what, I can't help you. And it's not because they're, they're, it's not because running is bad, but from a program design standpoint and from that what is the running doing? What, what, what stimulant is it promoting? What change is it promoting? Running will never uh, put, put 20 pounds of muscle on him. Not only will not put 20 pounds of muscle on him, but it will actually work in reverse because running is a catabolic motion. So it will eat his own muscle. Um, and that's a whole other conversation. But the point of that was that here he is thinking that if he runs five days a week because he enjoys it, he can get that 20 pounds of muscle. It doesn't work that way. So you got to find that balance. Um, and, and that's the point of this tip or trick. That's the point of this philosophy. You know, look at your program design. Odds are, if you're in the mirror and you're looking and you're saying, I'm not seeing the changes and I'm working my butt off, odds are you're, you're changing something, but you're just not asking for the right changes. You know, so uh, at that point, you really do. You need to sit down with somebody uh, and, and make sense of this stuff. It's not easy. There's a lot of information out there. That's why my consultations are always free. That's why I'm always cutting these videos to try to help you guys make sense of this stuff. As always, if this, uh, you know, if you like this video, please share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've got questions, reach out to me, Dean at BodyFitMI.com. And like I said, if uh, you know if you're trying to go the martial arts route and you're looking for BJJ, Kaizen is where it's at. You need to go see those guys. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great night, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time at BodyFit.